so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can model this hard surface object using the blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and before starting the tutorial guys i just want to tell you if you want to do practice on this project file so you can download this project file from the description that will be free for my all subscriber and if you found this video and this project file helpful for you so make sure you hit the like button so now let's start the video so here you can see guys i have already take some other render also this uh, model so here you can see if I will show you the slot number 2 so this is the close up shot of this model and this is the another one okay and this is our model basically if I will turn on my wireframe so here you can see that topology is also very fine very good so how you can do this so first of all I am just going to uh, delete everything so first of all I am just going to add one cylinder here and then I'm just going to different mode of this cylinder and then I'm just going to scale this cylinder something like this I think that's fine and then I will just apply the scale and after that I will go to the edit mode of this cylinder then I'm just going to add uh, some edge loop here so I think 10 is fine to me so after that you have to just select the uh, faces okay so for that you have to just select the face something like this okay and something like this as well yeah and make sure you enable your x-ray mode so you can also able to select the behind faces of this angle yeah I think that's fine so now I'm just going to select that face then I will select the, these faces and then I will select the those faces so here you can see now we have selected both side of faces something like this and then we'll uh, change the pivot point as a individual origin and then I will just do Alt E and here you will see the extrude along the normal so we have to just extrude those faces inside something like this here you can see okay and right now I'm just going to disable the wireframe so it's looking fine to me and then you have to just uh, add the bevel so yeah it's look fine to me so after that you have to just do insert pressing the I and then you have to just do in extrude outside and after that you have to just do insert again and then you have to do extrude inside something like this so here you can see now we have a perfect shape here okay then after that what you have to do you have to just go to the top view and here you have to just add one cube here and after that you have to just scale your cube something like this and something like this as well and after that you have to keep your cube here yeah I think that's look fine to me okay then you have to just uh, set your cube pivot point as a 3d cursor right click do set origin as a 3d cursor so you have to just rotate your cube to 360 degree so for that you have to just uh, do shift D and after that you have to just press the R for rotation and Z for the direction here you can see and from here you have to just set the angle 72 and then you can do just repeat command pressing the control R yeah so now here you can see now we have a five copy of this cube then we can do just control J for join mesh and then I'm just going to duplicate this to the bottom side as well yeah that's fine and after that you have to just select both of the uh, cubes and then you have to select your uh, main model and after that you have to press the N and go to the edit section and here you will see the bool tool so you have to just click on the, the difference and when you click on the difference so here you can see you will found something like this okay so if you want to know about more this tool so you, I have already created one video about this bool tool so you can see my this video and I will put the link into the i button so you will see from there so now here you can see we have we are all done okay then what we have to do now so now we'll add the texture on it so how we can add the texture so for that what I'm going to do I'm just I have already created one texture for it and don't worry about the texture you will also get the texture along with this project file so make sure you download this project file because you will get also texture this and this is the proper procedural texture so you don't worry about it 
you, you if you want to see so here you can see this is a procedural texture okay so you will get all the nodes you can see how I did this okay so I add the texture on it and uh, now I'm just going to duplicate this part and for the lighting I use the HDRI basically okay you can also use the HDRI you can also add the light on your scene it's all depend on you okay and now when I hit the F12 so here you can see we'll see the something like this so that's how you can make this hard surface model using the blender so thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys